Welcome boys and girls, this is Manny Mini Tips. Manny Mini Tips. Guys, if you've not been watching my videos, make sure you check out all my videos. Um, let's recap what we've um, looked at in the last couple of weeks. So we've done relative and absolute sale references, some ifs, some ifs, count if, count ifs and some vlookup and some of the, my vlookup tips trust me this will blow your mind um i enjoyed doing those because i learned new things from it i actually enjoy doing this because i'm learning so much right and so i want you to learn as well and if you do like um make sure you comment uh, some of you are not liking my videos some of you are not commenting and saying is a lot of you are not uh, subscribing. If you're my friend and you like what you see, make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, you're in trouble. You'll be in my back book, um, bad books. All right, let's get into pivot table. Today, we're going to be talking about pivot tables. Um, if you don't know how to do pivot tables, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to take you through um, some how to create pivot tables. Um, and also, I'm going to, I'm going to have another video that looks at some of the advanced pivot table um, uh, tips that you can find. Um, so make sure you stay tuned, watch until the end. Uh, so pivot table, we're gonna, this video we're gonna talk about how to build a pivot table. We're gonna to look into some of the design quirks and perks and stuff um, on uh, pivot table and about pivot table. So watch this to the end because there's some design design stuff that you definitely gonna pick pick up and if you know how to do pivot tables you still need it uh you need some of this trip uh, uh tips trust me okay let's get into it so some of the many options in in excel i'm using is a macbook excel some of the many options are gonna be different or will be different to the windows one but i'll try and search uh, on your screen you see on your screen how to access the same um using a uh, Windows uh, computer, Windows, Windows um, uh, laptop or computer. So let's do this, right? Right, pivot table, how do you create them? I have to just uh, go into data and then I can click on my pivot table there. If you're using, if you're using uh, Windows, what you find is insert, I think it's insert, and then you have your pivot table options. Um, within the pivot table, I've got automated pivot table or created manual one. You have the same in Windows, you have recommended uh, pivot table. What that does really is give you some layouts and stuff that, you know, quick layouts if you just don't have time to think about how you're gonna manage or put your pivot table together, right? So I'm gonna use a manual one. Um, you can play around with the all automated one and see which one works for you. I'm gonna use a manual one, so I'm gonna play manual one not in not in manual one manual one so if when i click that what it does it gives me my pivot table range um and you see excel is quite clever because if you click on any of the cell it would predict where your table lies and um, be careful when you're doing this not to have any space within your data also make sure you have headings on there's headings on every one of your columns right there's no there's no total or subtotal within your data um you can have total at the end but not within the data itself and and just make sure that you capture the range that you want so now the range is a1 to e21 i'll show you my next tip video my uh, uh pivot tips video um on how to make this dynamic so that when you had things to this table it would move um you don't you don't need to update this uh, particular link or particular range it just updates automatically so make sure you stay tuned that is very very important i love that trick so so important so excel is going to put in a new workbook um you can put in exist exist existing you can put in existing work a worksheet or a new worksheet, basically putting in a different tab, or you can find a location that you want. So it just gives you that option, really. So I'm gonna uh, opt to have it there to new worksheet. So now it's open up a blank pivot. 
it's quite important that you you work out how you're going to do your pivot. So you've got to work out what you put in your rows and your column. Um, so let's simply think about what we're going to do. So I want to put um, the department on my um, on my rows because I want to see the, the various departments. And then I want to see the annual cost, right? So that's annual cost for my department. Quite simply, uh, you can you can do that. So, uh, some of the options you have, if you click on here, it can uh, count. Count just counts uh, how many times um, you have those entries within your work, um, within your data. Um, but we want it to sum, so we want to just sum that, right? So it gives me my sum. Uh, as you see, there the are other options, average and whatever you need. Um, now, you know, if you decide that, okay, you want to put gender on your column, you just drag it and drop it. You see that split between male and female. So that's fine. Maybe I don't want that. I'll put that on my filter. If I put it on my filter, I can then filter um, uh, and then just filter accordingly. So filter on male and then filter on female. Um, and then I want all the do results, so I click on all all of them. So that's the first step, and this is quite a simple step. So let's talk about some of the. Now you've decided what you want to put on your row and columns. Uh, maybe I'll bring that here, so I can have a split between male and female. Um, so that's what I'll get. I'll get each split between male and female. So instead of having in a column, having a row now. So that uh, Excel's done that quite nicely for me. So hold on a second. Let me make this a bit larger because I know some of some of you may not see this properly. Uh, not that too large. Let me make it a bit larger. One fifty. Hopefully you can see. If you can't see, let me know. Right. So we have that, and then we have nothing on our row or um, on our columns. So I actually move this here and I move the, the names into the rows, right? So now um, you've got this nice report. So some of the design issues you may face. So um, within here, um, you know, Excel gives you lots of options to design your stuff. Make sure you play around with this. You can literally have that design uh, I don't care about that. I want that one. I don't care about that. Um, maybe I want that one. That looks a bit better. Does it look better to you? I don't know. So let me just, you know, you can play around and make sure you have the, the right design as you wish, right? Whatever you want, you can have, right? Within reasons, right? So that's what this is for. You can even create your own new table style if you want. But you know, to play around with what you have there, make sure you're looking at the options because you can have very, very good design from that. So the next thing we're gonna look at is how to, uh, the different formats you can have. Uh, within Excel, if you, if you go to, well, mine gives me layout, different layout you can have. You can have three types of layout. You can have compact, you can have outline, you can have tabular. Within Windows, you find this, um, using, I think it's on the design, and you uh, and it's on the screen now. So make sure you know how to get to um, this layout within your windows. Right. So I can have different types. This is a compact one. Can you see the compact one? Just puts the the two rows I've got. It's got uh, in the same column. So you've got the department split into indented into names, right? So quite simply, I like this because it's compact as the name implies. Excel defaults to this, I believe. So you need to make sure you know that this is the default and you can change this along. Um, I had a call from one of my old colleagues who didn't actually understand the different format and we, she woke me up at 10 o'clock and I had to tell her that, look, you can have a tabular um, layout. So she might feel watching, make sure you watch till this uh, bit, right? And don't call me, at, uh, wake me up in the morning for this again. So if you wake me up, I'm gonna charge you, as I said, I'm gonna charge you 
500 pounds for waking me up at 10 o'clock in the morning. And actually I'm lying. I do, I do wake up early these days. Um, all right, tabula. So tabula format, um, I'm gonna, I don't like this format, so I'm just gonna come out of this. Uh, I'm just gonna, what format do I want? Oh, I don't even like any of this. Can I just go with something basic? Yeah, something like that. Thank you very much. Right, so I've got this tabular format. Uh, actually, I'm gonna, let me just show you the outline one. So outline one is also different. Um, wait a second. Right, so you can see the outline format, the totals at the top, um, the compact format, totals at the top as well, or your tabular format and the totals at the bottom. I quite like this view. This is an old Excel view, default view. So I like using this quite a bit because, you know, it's quite easy on the eye. You can just look at finance cost. That's how much the total finance is. That's how much, but it's all, all up to your preference, yeah? Uh, another option I want to show you is an auto fit option. Uh, I always make sure that this is unchecked because it's annoying when you're trying to, when you have a format in mind and every time you refresh the data, uh, it, old, it alters your your um, your column width. So make sure you untick that. Um, that's pretty much the only thing I do here. Um, let's look at what's in data. There's nothing here to do. If you wanna refresh data when you open, you can. But really, this makes a big difference. So let's test that out. So, um, so we wanted uh, want this to expand a little bit. That's fine. Um, when you refresh this, it goes back, right? So you see that what that's uh, what just happened there. When you refresh your data, um, sometimes you want your width to stay certain. You know, when you're designing your stuff, I hate when I refresh my data and then it does that. So I think one thing to do is go to uh, date, uh, table options. I'll show you how to get that within Windows. Um, and then click on auto fit columns with on, uh, auto fit columns with on update. Just untick that. And what you find is if you change your width, if you want to, and then you refresh your data, voila, nothing happens, okay? So, um, do, so if you want to rename something, so say for instance, we've got, uh, what do we have? So we have gender here, but we want to count gender as well. So we're counting gender and we're counting gender uh, and then we've got the annual cost and you want to uh, name, rename this because look at what happens. Um, it's, it's too long. So what, what we do is you can literally come here and rename this. So if you rename it that annual salary, a pivot table says the name already exists. There's a trick to avoid, um, to, to ignore this and go around this. So if you just put space after the dollar sign, it will just recognize it as a different uh, name that it doesn't exist because that name does exist in the column there. So if you put space, we recognize it differently. And I can just uh, delete that and put space. And then I've got my, um, I've got my my name as I, I want it to be, right? Another tip to this basic um, video, basic pivot, uh, and you need to know is to, in in order to old, uh, format your stuff at the same time. So I don't like the look of these numbers. So what I wanna do is format every single one. So what you will need to do is right click, find your setting, um, you can right click or just right click on it and then you will find fill setting in your pivot. If you go to number, um, I wanted uh, currency, let's just see currency. 
um, we want dollars, right? So we want US dollars because US dollars roll, right? Dollar, dollar, dollar bill. All right, so I've done, I've done that, I've selected my format and, and then I'm gonna click on okay. And as you can see, it's applied it to every single one. All right, so don't forget right click, go to format, um, right click, go to format, and then um, right click, go to, yeah, go to numbers, format it, and then it's done it for every single one. Okay, so well, if you find that useful, if that video and this tips um, have been good and you enjoy those, um, make sure you like, subscribe, and um, let me know what you think of it or if there's anything you miss, you know, what you're missing from, from this basic video, let me know. But as I said, stay tuned for the advanced one. It's gonna be exciting. If you are used to the basic pivot, uh, make sure you tune in for the advanced video and you will learn a lot, uh, I promise you. There's quite a lot to go through and quite a lot to learn. So make sure you stay tuned. All right, voila. See you later. Bye-bye.